maybe we ought to just kill him, Oniki. Orikara ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound wow. fair? I'll just borrow this. Damn. What? All right then. Let's go, yellow shit. Dang. Hey guys, it's Near No Life. That's right, guys. Back for another episode of Yakuza Like a Dragon. So we're at episode four now. So um, just a quick recap on episode three. Uh, so we just met the Yakuza Patriarch of the Arakawa family, or Akarawa, I think it's Arakawa, uh, Masumi Arakawa, so uh, we see a little glimpse of how his life is, um, and how the son became uh, crippled, so um, yeah, so um, basically his son was put up, placed in the locker, because they were gonna, the mob boss were gonna kill him. And so uh, his girlfriend had to put his son in a locker and she had to run away and then so I um, mean and kind of took him long to save his son and that's why he became crippled so we, we got to find out about the boss and his son and that's why um, the main character is taking care of the son so that's pretty interesting um, I wonder if that's gonna develop throughout the storyline um yeah so we'll see how it's gonna be so as always guys please like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the game the episode and all that fun stuff guys and please help me reach my 300 subscriber goal i'm so close guys tell your friends tell your family just to hit that subscribe button guys please 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 <laughs> i'm so close guys please click that subscribe button and um and and also guys thank you so much from the deep in my heart of all the support uh, this channel is receiving uh, without you guys this channel is nothing so thank you so much i do read your comments and i really love uh all the support you guys are giving down there and thank you so much it keeps me pumped up to do another episode so thank you guys all right let's start the game <laughs> all right guys Come on, let's get this thing done. Oh look, it's at the Chinese place. Forgot to give him the plunger. <laughs> What's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. I can't read Japanese. What is it? <laughs> Tell me guys in the comments about what that, that place is. I can't read Japanese. What does that mean? Three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. Oh, wow. His birthday is January 1st. Every New Year it's his birthday then. Wow. My mom worked at Soaplands. She even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. Oh, wow. I didn't know that till I was older. When Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the Soapland that took me in. 
Mm -hmm. You don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you, ma'am. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. Mm, poor guy. I guess that's why he has like the hero complex. I was raised by this city's working class folks. Oh, so he's raised by the city. Aw. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's why he's so think with the city. Like he wants to make it a better place. Because everybody is his family. Oh, wow. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum, too. What? Never! You're everything I want to be! You're like a god! <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? Okay. When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy. <laughs> oh no. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, They'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. And I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. Dude. One of your little brats damn near <clears throat> beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Oniki. Arakara ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa son, the little fuck damn near took our guy out. We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Wow. Fair? I'll just borrow this. Damn. What? Let's go, yellow shit. Damn. Uh, I... What? You... You saved my life. Why? Mm. How can I... 
Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. But not wow. the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. Mm, that's why he's so indebted to he was the guy. This man. Makes sense. Hey, that guy got balls though, man. He just cut his finger to a stranger. Some unknown kid. for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Gorakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir. I had a foster dad, but he's dead now. Good story. It's been 100 days since I met Arakawa-san. Man, it's been a long intro though, man. <laughs> but it's good to um, know the character. You know, see how he is, what he does. His, um... His creed, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's good to know. Wait, they just people just disappeared and moved to the left side. <laughs> what was that? Two thousand one. Hey, oh, it's not white two K. It's two thousand one. Face. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes it's a scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Ooh, let's see. Hey, a new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Jojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on. Are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> they gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Oh, yeah. man. Plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us. Hey boss, leave this to me. 
Yeah. Mm. Fight. Finally. It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. <laughs> Can <we> go. <laughs> Just wait till you see Looks what so I funny. Uh, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the? Forgot that she's trying to find Katita. Okay, this is just getting weird. Alright, we wind it up, knock you down. Perfect card, baby. <laughs> Getting some money. All right. Who is this guy? He's crazy. You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on, at least make the boss. It's fine. <laughs> Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. Ha, wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, he's such a badass. Yeah, he just walks home by himself without, like, yeah, no security. And he's like the boss. <laughs> Alright, let's crack some skulls, skulls before the new year. Two thousand one. Two thousand one. Super beer, Sakura. Is that an ad placement? Is that a real beer in Japan? He's a good guy, man. I like this character. He's different from Kiryu, you know. <laughs> Kiryu's always this serious guy, but him is like his own backstory of how who he is, how he acts. Sir, you have to it's wake good. up. Wake up now. <clears throat> oh shit! I fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see your identification? <sighs> identification. Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Shit! My wallet's gone. Uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now? I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. No, maybe the boss died. He went out by himself, man. Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Ichi. Oh, okay. No problem. Good. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. Do you want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Ooh. Serious music in the background. That doesn't bode well. Oh, there's like police everywhere. So we can't just fight people, huh? What's going on? What happened in New Year? I 
Because then there'd be a crime or something. Maybe I guess I should take the back streets. Okay. Silver. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you? Dang, these people are so hot at Alright. Dang, they got knives, man. I want some knife too, man. Alright. Let's do some skills first. Boom! Chaka laka. <laughs> You guys got knives. I use my fist. What the hell was that about? Yeah, what's going on? Nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. Arakawa, man. That took a while. Gotta head into the office. It's Arakawa. All right, let's go. Ichiban Kuchi. Like he killed somebody. Maybe he did the crime. He smoked a lot and drank. Whoa. What just happened? Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. Must have the Sakaki family did something yet. Yeah. Let's see. Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Mm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No, the Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason, but they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. Hmm. I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting, but their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now, but at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said... Did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. Hmm. He... He shot the Sakaki Yakuza. 
Oh, snap. Really? Why? Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then, Joel pulled his gun. Mm. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will go up in smoke. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you after everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Damn, this guy's a good guy, man. Ichi. A really good guy. Wow. Can't believe that. He just willing to do it. Dang, good guy. Good story. But I do want the gameplay though. Happy birthday, Haniki. <laughs> for the Yakuza, we work 365 days a year. So you're going to be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20. Do you really want to know? Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Okay. <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. Yeah, I'm feeling for this guy. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> can I beat somebody up? Can I? Can I like? Has, can I just like fight somebody just to take this feeling off? There we go. Yes. I need this. Come on. Let me take some steam off. Take off some steam. Oh, there you go. 
It's one of them. Hope it's a high level. We're not bully. <laughs> It's nice that I can save anywhere though. Oh look, there's two of them again. Alright. Capitalist Punisher. Alright. <laughs> Grab the friggin' thing. Yeah! Nice, 260. Two in the Onigiri. That's perfect. Oh, another one. Maybe Yakuza. go to the place and then I'll just save it and I'm probably gonna end the episode let me just beat up these guys oh oh wow nice got the bike where is it Gotta go through here. Get out of here. Yeah. I got the timing right. I like I like that perfect guard stuff cuz it it really gives you like a way to be more active like for um for an RJ like an RPG type, you know, it, it you don't just create a just put a move set and then wait for your turn and then you know it makes you press buttons while while you're like waiting for the enemy to fight so it's something good it's more interactive which is good all right so i'm gonna end this episode here guys all right guys so a lot has happened in this episode um story wise and um wow so i'm gonna end the episode here uh so basically i'm just gonna um uh, i'm gonna go to to prison for uh to cover up one of the uh, arakawa's family i guess the, he's a captain joe the guy joe uh, he killed somebody from the yakuza so uh, when you kill each other you know it becomes a big issue i think the when he killed was somebody important too so um so somebody has to take the hit for that and so it's gonna be the main character who has to do it it's kind of sad because he's like a cool guy and everything 
And um, I could see with the cutscenes that the main character really, really uh, looks up to the Yakuza boss and he's willing to do anything for him. So um, he, so he's gonna take the, the fall for that. So um, it's kind of bad, eh, you know, it kind of sucks, but you know, that's the story. Yeah, you know, like uh, he's such a good guy, you know, he's like doing good things even though he's a Yakuza, you know, he's basically, he loves his city. And now he's gonna go to prison for we we don't know how many years um, and it's murder so it's gonna be long so I wonder how that's gonna be but he has to take it because um, you know because his his boss told him to do it and you know he respects him so much so that's this it's kind of I feel bad for the main character so um, yeah so that's it for the episode guys I hope you enjoyed the episode and um, thank you so much for watching and um, as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the episode, the game, and all that fun stuff, guys. And thank you so much for watching uh, my channel. Uh, you know, all the support, uh, it means so much to me. And I hope, I hope I see you again in another episode of Yakuza Like a Dragon. Alright, guys. Bye-bye.